Ayo, I hope everybody's having a good day today. I was going to do a requested video on a couple of the add-ons that I use on a frequent basis. So the first one is quite literally like life-changing, game-changing. Um, and, I, and I do not say that lightly. I know that people would like to pick that sentence apart and be like, ah, blah, blah, blah. But seriously, watch and listen to how fast I can loot. Okay, now that is just, I've covered this briefly before, but I, I need people to understand how fast that is. Like, it's so fast and so easy to loot now that it makes me angry that I didn't know that you could do this, the, like, that this was even the, a possibility makes me upset, you know? Cause it's so fast it's it's literally like game changing gate breaking like now i want to like farm low level places and pick up every single thing you know it's like changing the way that i think about the game so there's that and just uh ease of life thing it is so nice to not have to click on every single mob so like you can just go over to a dude and just hover your mouse over a stack of dead bodies you know the dead mobs and uh, you know, just mouse scroll. You don't have to click on stuff. You don't have to click on any. How much easier is it to mouse scroll up and down and with like your pointer finger, you know, in the same spot over and over and over versus right clicking and being very careful about where you're clicking, you know? I'll never do it again, ever, ever, ever again. Um, get it, get faster loot and then change your, change your key binds if you scroll in here okay go to you know press escape key binds and then scroll down till you see targeting functions okay and scroll down a little bit more and you want to look for interact with mouse over okay interact with mouse over and I change it to up and down so now to loot things, all I have to do is hover my mouse over their corpse and up and down mouse scroll over and over and over. You know, for a stack of mobs, it takes with that plus the faster loot add-on, which it immediately loads, not quite immediately, but it very quickly loads the, uh, the loot box. So if you're familiar with the loot box, it normally takes like, you know, a fraction of a second and that adds up and it's kind of annoying. So get faster loot, get the mouse scroll thing, boom, boom, you're done. Um, <laughs> I, I, just, just try it. Like, please just try it. It will save you so much time. Like, I wish I would have known about this 10 years ago when I first started playing the game and I would have wasted, you know, I can't even, it makes me, it makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit thinking about how many seconds turning into minutes turning into hours that i've spent looting stuff when i could have done it this way <laughs> so yeah um try it out uh the next one that i want to cover is really sweet it's just super easy it's called genie and to do to get it to work i will show you right here all you have to do is type genie space work okay and press enter look at my bags boom 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 beautiful Okay, it just sorted everything by epics, if I had epics in my bag, blues, greens, and then normal white items, and then it groups them together, and then gray items at the bottom. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you know, you never need to sort your bags manually ever again. It does work in a bank, like if you were at, you know, org or what have you, and you went to the bank, it would also sort that, but it doesn't very it doesn't play very well with guild banks. Um, it does work, but it takes a very long time. And I think there's a special command that you have to do, and it also sorts it by rarity, which in my opinion is not very useful for a guild bank. Like you want in a guild bank, you want like all the eternals on one page. Uh, all the leather on one page, all the arctic fur on one page, and it's going to jam it 
based and sort of based off of rarity. So anyway, Genie is sweet. Try it out. Um, the kind of the main feature here that I'm going to cover is Carbonite. Okay. So I'm going to assume that you have Carbonite installed. And if you don't, um, you can come back to this point in the video once you do, and I will show you how to set it up. So first I'm going to show you kind of the main features and the selling point basically of Carbonite to get you to try it. So it's a map replacer, simply. It does a lot more than that, but it simply is a map replacer, okay? But the nicest things about it is A, it has working dungeon maps, okay? So you can load a working dungeon map for this version of the game. Pretty, fr like, flippin' huge. Like, I don't know if you realize how big of a deal this is, but a working dungeon map that actually tracks where you are, that's accurate to some extent. I don't, I've tried so many add-ons and I could not get this to come up, basically, you know? This is amazing. Um, this Carbonite in conjunction with something like Atlas, you know, to pull up the map between, like, you can look on the map. Here's a little circle thing with a horseshoe looking guy. Here's a little circle thing with a little horseshoe guy. So I'm right there. Boom. You know, you should never get lost in a dungeon ever again. And uh, if you do, let me know and I'll make a video for you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so how to... And then some other nice things about Carbonite. It will say I'm outside, okay, and I'm mounted and I'm flying around. It will show me my move speed, my effective move speed of how fast I'm flying. So if you're flying up at an angle or down at an angle or... If you don't have all your buffs on, if you're missing Crusader, or, you know, if you're trying to really min-max and fly in straight lines and be as accurate as you possibly can, this add-on will save you all of that. And then you can also zoom in to the mini-map actively, just like Google Maps, and you can resize it and make it take up half your screen. You can turn it opacity up, and you can see through and click through the screen. Like, I don't know how else to sell this, this add-on to you besides just just please try it it is so sweet so um yeah so let's say you've got carbonite installed okay it's your first time installing it there is a lot of stuff to carbonite and i will show you how to set it up so when you first launch it it's going to have a welcome page and then it's going to probably also have a pop-up that says do you want to put the map into the mini map or something along those lines you can press OK to that, you can press cancel, you can press close to the welcome page, you can close all that stuff, okay, close everything. I will show you to, I will show you how I have mine set up um, through all the option screens, and then you know you can get you can take it from there. So you need to have Carbonite on and working. So if you press M, you should be at a box like this, and you most likely will still have your mini map in the top right corner. Um, if you don't have this Carbonite window up that you can move around, you know, make sure the add-on's on, enabled, do the basic add-on troubleshooting steps, um, and then maybe check your source of where you got the add-on. If you got it, I'm going to put, put links in the description for all of my stuff that I use. Um, so if you use my version, you hopefully won't have any problems. Um, so... We're all on the same page. We've got just just this guy, okay? Just this open. You can right click anywhere on it and bring up options, okay? So some things that you have to do to get this to work, especially on Warbade on our server. You have to go in, into here, into privacy and comms and turn all this stuff off, all of it. If you don't, you will not be able to chat with anyone ever again because it will send all of this stuff to people in background whispers and it will chat lock you, okay? You will never be able to type to anybody ever again if you don't do this. So do that. Um, some other things, if you go into map and minimap 
and you check this checkbox here. If you didn't check it at the start, move the map into the minimap, and that will get rid of the default map and just leave you with the carbonate map, okay? Because you don't need two maps on your screen, unless you want two maps, I don't know. Um, the guide section here has the carbonite nodes for herbalism and mining. You need to import these. And if you are a super serious miner, you can find these cartographer herb and mine location databases online. But I would personally just build your own as you play. It will slowly build the information for you. So like, say you were going around this zone and you got a mine spot here and mine spot here, and mine spot here, 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 here. And then the carbonite will save hey, you had a mithril spot here. Just like Gatherer or most of the other add-ons for gathering stuff. But it matches it all into one add-on. So I like Carbonite a lot. I don't use the other ones like Gatherer or anything like that because this does everything for one add-on. So why would I have 10 instead of just having one? Um, <laughs> uh, it does a bunch of other really cool things like here in general the max camera distance macro it will the if you checkbox this it will enable it for all your characters so you can zoom out really far you can customize a lot of things in here like auto turning quests and share quests with party members and all kinds of stuff and change the noises that it makes in the background um really the only other thing that i would mess around with is the punks window which if you were in a town okay or out in the wilds okay it would have it would show a punks window okay and what that is is hostile targets so if, if you're horde it shows alliance and if you're alliance it shows horde characters that are within range of you to ex to select okay so if you're gathering an herb and some dude is flying up on you, this will give you like a second or two extra notice that, hey, there's some guy who's about ready to come over here and stun you. So you can you can do something, you know, you can react a little bit. Um, also saves you from getting ganked, you know? Pretty sweet. Um, the only other thing that I'd recommend to, to really make Carbonite nice is the add-on called Move Anything. And this add-on does a lot of nice things um but i literally only use it for this so to use this you go into move anything and just press your main menu and it's right here at the bottom and then go down here to the search and type in buff okay and i'm going to checkbox the player buffs mover and just move it over to the side because I like my mini map to be like this big. You know, I want it to be like a gigantic chunk of my screen. That's just me though. And if you don't move the player buffs thing over, it'll be under the map. Okay. So just scooch it over and then I'm decently sure that it propagates to the left as it as you get more buffs. And then the same thing with player debuffs. You know, move it over, scooch it over and line them up a little bit so they're nice, and then space it out. This will be the top row, and it should go that way. This will be the top row, should go that way. Easy, okay? And then uncheck these, and then press S for save, save it. Do not press the O, O is cancel. S is save, and then X for exit. So it took me a little while to figure that part out, um, because before I was just, I had my my buffs like hidden half the time and I had to keep moving. Carbonite is see-through, you know, it's got opacity to it. So if I was like that, you can see through it. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like the end of the world, but now that I have got move anything with that, now it's even nicer. So little things that add up. Um, the other main add-ons that I use are bartender which is my bars here. Um, 
I have most of it turned for a multi-box setting and for recording purposes. So I've got, you know, three more bars that I could use, a pet bar, um, and this is all customizable. Like you can turn, say you wanted this bar six here, say you wanted it to be square, you know, four by three or whatever, or four by four. You can change, you can change the scale. You know, you can change all kinds of stuff with Bartender. It's really nice. You could turn these off. You know, you could, you could turn the, the, I've turned my bag off. Cause I don't need to see my bag. I know B is my shortcut for bag. So I, why do I need six or five buttons for bags on my screen? I don't. <laughs> so turn your bags off, you know? Um, and then this guy up here, my unit bar is Pitbull. So to enable that, you type slash pit. This guy is a little overwhelming when you first get it because there's a lot of buttons, a lot of things you have to, to set up. So I did... I'll show you what I did and then you, know, you can take it from there. Um, I turn off a lot of things. Like I don't care about targets, targets, target. That's ridiculous. I don't need that information. Targets, target. That one's a nice one. You know, that will tell me this is my target. This is my target's target. So if I had a mob on me, it would tell me who that guy is. Um, target's fine. Player's pet target, if you're a hunter or something like that, you might want that. Um, I've got uh, treants sometimes, so I leave it enabled. Um, focus, target, target, target. I do... I could care less. I, I don't know why we, why you would need that much information about something. Um, if you really want your your screen flooded with stuff and bars, you know, go for it. Leave this stuff on. But I turn off what I can. Um, party pets. I don't care if your pet dies or not in combat. That's your own problem. Turn off party pets. Um, some other things. If you go into here into the config mode and turn on party this is kind of what it will look like when you're in a party okay so your mine's set up yours is gonna look busted when you first turn yours on okay do one thing at a time and don't get overwhelmed okay so i put my party like just drag things and space it out a little bit so it's, it will take you 20 to 30 minutes the first time you set this up it's gonna but it's so nice once it's done um, and then, you know, when you get more experienced, it'll take you 30 seconds to set it up, you know, or what have you. Um, but just, just go slow and see what each thing does, you know, unstack all of this stuff and move it so that it's, you could see, this is the focus, this is focus target. Okay. I can kind of see what's going on here. You know, you can start figuring it out. Um, and then... If you want to see, you know, 10 man raid, you know, if you, if I had heal bot on my heal bot, I've turned heal bot off. Um, you can turn on solo. So this is kind of what it would look like if you're in a dungeon like I am. So this is all of the default things enabled in configuration mode. Okay. So you might want to, you might want to do what I just showed you exactly how I showed you it. Go through here, go through the units, disable what you don't want, and then turn the config mode on because otherwise you're gonna have a bajillion freaking things on your screen and it's gonna just suck to, to even try to sort it out, you know? Baby step it, one thing at a time. Change one thing, press okay. Um, Carbonite also, just real quick, puts all your stuff in this guy. And if you want this to collapse, uh, you just read what it says, you know, left click to toggle the map, shift left, shift left click to toggle this guy, you know, just use your eyeballs and read. Um, so yeah, if you want it this small, you can make it small and move it wherever you want to. Carbonite is made to be very customizable, that plus move anything. Um, and the few add-ons that I've showed you, um, you should have a pretty clean... I try to go for minimalist UI, 
Um, not all of my characters are set up so, I guess, nicely. Um, but this guy I stream on a lot, so he's like, I don't have extra bars, I don't have extra spells. Like, I would love to have, you know, every single button and spell on my bars here. That's just the kind of player I am. But I know that everybody, like, you guys don't all... <laughs> you, you don't want to see Shred and Cat form up here in the middle of my screen. You know, no one wants to see that. So, anyway, try these out. Let me know if you have any problems with any of these add-ons. I'm going to include the rough zip you know, the, the files for these add-ons in a Google Drive link in the description of this video. And then I'll also provide you with the link that I took them from off of the warming forum. And I don't wanna provide people with my interface file, like my interface folder from WoW, because in my opinion, that's really a super easy way to corrupt your WoW is to copy somebody else's stuff because there's config files and buttons and you know key bindings and all kinds of stuff that you have set up or that I have set up and if you override something it's going to break your stuff you know just do one add-on at a time get it working or see what it does you know baby steps because that's if you've ever done modding for Skyrim or any or any kind of game or add-on fever before in this game you know it's it's very easy to break your game um and it's also very easy to, to do it right if you just are slow and methodical about things so anywho uh hit me up in the comments if you have any questions comments concerns um if you have any add-ons that you want me to cover or suggestions for add-ons um i need to get weak auras working is kind of my next main objective but I also have a lot of my plate right now and I want to get back to multiboxing. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.